Welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, we've got something new for you today. Uh, if you're used to flying the normal rates from Betaflight, uh, the defaults, uh, maybe you're getting some prop wash or uh, short flight times, just not getting the best performance out of your quad and you're not really familiar with how to tune, uh, we'll go over a simple overview of just kind of some basic and uh, default uh, tune that you can use for specific types of quads and we'll see if that improves uh, the overall performance. So I've got the Armitan Tadpole. This is the three inch version. Um, I'm running a JH EMCU uh, 20 amp board. Um, and what I've done, I was initially flying this on 3.5.7 beta flight. So uh, I'll post the link in the description there. You can still find this. You have to download it manually from beta flight's website. Uh, and you can flash this. Um, generally, that's working uh, well for a lot of us on micros. Um, you don't have to run VTX tables. Uh, I'm not going to get into that discussion or argument, but that can be difficult sometimes locating the correct table. Um, so previously, I've just kind of resisted, you know, updating uh, most of my quads. You know, if if they ship with uh, a higher version of Betafly 4.0 or 4.2. You know, generally, if the quad's locked in, I'll, I'll just leave that tuned. But on this particular micro, it's a custom build. Um, you got these Emacs 1106, I believe they're 6,000 KB motors. Um, and, uh, you know, I was getting a bit of prop wash. It just wasn't a smooth flyer. It wasn't locked in like, you know, things like the Tiny Hawk Freestyle or, you know, other... Um, ready to fly quads. So uh, I do really enjoy this quad. I do like it's a top mount uh, micro three inch. So, um, but you know, it just, it wasn't flying smooth. So uh, it, it necessarily wasn't one of my go-tos. So what I did do is uh, I'll post a link up here. A uh, UAV tech, um, he's got a good channel there. If you're not subscribed to him, go ahead and check his channel out. Uh, and he has some uh, default tunes on his website um, that generally work well. So uh, what I did do first is I went ahead and updated this to Betaflight 4.2.4, which at the time was current, I believe, uh, 0.5 is now out. Um, and so if you're familiar, if you're familiar with uh, generally before to run RPM filtering, you had to run a 32-bit ESC. Well, most of these all-in-one boards, the JHE MCU included, um, are BL Heli S. They're not 32-bit ESC firmware. But now, um, you know, previously you could run JESC or Jazz Mavericks uh, if you wanted to enable uh, RPM filtering. Um, but I haven't paid for the license for JESC. I know and that does go to support the developer. So if you're thinking about doing so, definitely take a look at that. But now on certain um, ESCs, they do offer the, uh, it's a beta 16.71 firmware uh, for BL Heli S uh, that you can enable RPM filtering. So I did flash that from the BL Heli S configurator. Uh, I ran the normal checks uh, to make sure that uh, there were no errors um, I'm not going to post a link on how to do that. There are many other videos out there. I believe Barbell has a video on that. Um, enabled RPM filtering. One of the things that you do want to make sure that you enable the correct number of motor poles. So generally for micros, it's 12 motor poles. Uh, for a 5-inch motor, it's going to be something like 14. So do take that in consideration. I flashed that. Updated to 4.2 beta flight. 4.2 perform, sorry. And then I load, loaded my VTX table. This is just a happy model. Whoop VTX, it's only 200 milliwatt. It is one of the weak links of this quad. So uh, I do have a nameless RC DVR 400 milliwatt VTX that I probably will be swapping shortly there if I don't go digital with this one with Sharkbite. Um, 
So I flashed that. Um, I went to UAV Tech's channel. He basically explained, or I'm sorry, his website. He basically explained that generally on these, um, this is not really a toothpick, but it's kind of, you know, that size class there, um, that they generally run similar rates to a five inch with a few exceptions here. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, post a link here and uh, show you um, basically what the presets are here. So I updated to his default presets. And as you can see, it made a world of difference. Um, not only am I getting a longer flight time due to RPM filtering enabled, I'm getting well over four minutes on a uh, Tattoo 4S 450, um, but closer to five minutes. Uh, I, I'm not really noticing any prop wash. I am running uh, two different sets of props on this one. These are the Gym Fan 3018s uh, by Bob Ruge from uh, FPV Cycle. Um, these are one I believe he helped design there in, in conjunction with Gym Fan. Uh, the TP3, these are recommended props for that one as well. And just any, you know, three inch micro that's got a lower pitch prop there. These are a good option there. And then the other ones I've been rocking are these uh, HQ. These are the same as the Tiny Trainer props. They're T-mount uh, 3 by one8 by 3 um, But these are the 1.5 millimeter shaft version. Um, the Tiny Trainer has a 2 millimeter shaft on their... Um, 14, uh, 1404 motors, I believe is what they're running. So anyway, using these two props, even with the by blades, um, I wasn't really noticing any oscillations. They were smooth. These are kind of chewed up now a little bit. So I'm getting a little bit of noise from that. But other than that, uh, you know, everything was flying smoothly. Um, so I definitely noticed a big performance increase. Now, another thing too, the stock Betaflight tune, um, these motors were coming down warm. Um, they weren't hot, but they were warm. Nothing to be alarmed about. But with the suggested tune, they were coming down, uh, you know, room temperature. So it made an impact there as well. I assume that is affecting battery life. And just the quad feels more locked in uh, in general there. I did add my rates, which I'll post above as well. Um, so if you're new to the hobby uh, or if you've been in a while and you've just been kind of avoiding uh, tuning the quad, definitely take a look at UAV Tech's uh, presets. Um, like you said, they're not 100%. There's nothing better than, uh, you know, a fully tuned quad. But these are a good starting point. Uh, and for many of us like me, uh, they do make a big difference there. And, you know, I'll probably just leave these as, as is. So uh, they are even more locked in. I believe the new Betaflight is uh, geared toward a five inch racer. So uh, these are a little bit uh, different there and it does make a big world of difference there. So I hope this video was informative for you. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, please do so. Uh, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.